Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Wednesdays, where I decide to shout out a creator of my choice. Now, what I do every single Wednesday is I put a tweet out on the Twitters, and I say, hey guys, if you have a project that you're working on, I want to know about it, because I want to shout out as many of the creators as I possibly can, because I feel that there are so many independent creators out there that are doing better, better work than the Hollywood machine. And this week... My choice, well, my choice is for the homies. This one's for the homies. Yeah, I'm white as hell. Don't, I don't care. But ladies and gentlemen, I would absolutely love to shout out some subscribers of mine this week. Now, normally I pull up Twitter, I go to the tweet, and I show you everything, but my desktop won't load Twitter right now, and Twitter's like, eh, it's freaking out. I don't know what's going on. So ladies and gentlemen, without any further ado, this week, we are shouting out... Calvin Gulata, the man, the myth, the thought bot legend, <laughs> because he brings, it seems that every time Calvin joins my live stream chats, he brings the thought bot with him. So he is the Don bot as it were, but ladies and gentlemen, Don bot aside, let's go see what Calvin Gulata has been working on. So over here, we have Underworld Dawn. Underworld Dawn seems to be a, and a, they're actually a really good looking, uh, really good looking uh, comic. Uh, some behind the scenes info here um, that I cannot share. There's a reason he asked me this week. He's like, hey man, would you share this? He goes, I think some big things are gonna happen with this very soon, but I don't, I don't have an exact timeline yet, so don't give away any spoilers. Spoilers, ladies and gentlemen, the guy's working on stuff, all right? Wait, is that a spoiler? I don't know how spoilers work. But anyway, so Underworld Done is a comic book written by Galvin Gulata. Let's go over here to the About section. And in the About section, right over here. Intended for mature audiences. Sir, I need things that I can hand to my children. But you know what? Some people... Are probably looking forward to the set and landscape of hell itself this villainous saga takes uh this villainous saga takes place in a world in a separate pocket of the demonic plane known as the underworld seated off to the side in between the two rings of greed and wrath oh sir you're touching an on dante's inferno which i have my dante's inferno right here <laughs> Oh, you're going with some Dante's Inferno lore. Mmm, I might be the mature audience that needs to read this then. Oh, it is the homepage. Sorry, sorry, a little excited. That, that, that's really cool. It is the home to gangsters and criminals of every persuasion. The underworld itself was created by four crime lords from different parts of the <clears throat> of the world's past who rather than continuing their helpless condemnation took matters into their own sinful clutches and created a seat of power where they would not only have their own dimension of rule but the ability to uh to exert an influence over hell itself that's a really really good that's a really really good intro I like the way that the world is crafted. Let's go over to the characters. And ladies and gentlemen, just so you guys know, the links will be down in the description below. Uh, Clavis Malavin Malavinisi. Uh, sorry, it is, it's Italian, I believe. So that should, or is it Chi, Malavinici? I believe it's I don't remember uh, the dawn of a powerful Sicilian crime family oh it's Sicilian not Italian I was close uh Glavis uh, was assassinated in his study by a Benjamin under the command of one of his cowardly rivals after his death Clavis found himself reborn in hell where he set out to create a new family determined to be as malevolent in death as he was in life during this journey, he learned of a particular region in hell where villains from all ages past gathered in a den of sin, collaborating and plotting amongst, amongst one another for power and status. The stories he'd he heard did so remind him of his previous life, a pleasing thought to be sure. Knowing the influence this territory exerted over the Nine Rings and the potential 
it held if aligned to his vision and devious intellect. Glavis smiled and decided it was the perfect bastion to begin his reign, though he has only just started his new family with the addition of three powerful allies. Clavis is resolute in taking the title of Underworld Dawn. Oh, that's awesome. Eleanor Dullahan will read the first paragraph here. Victim of an obsessed and crazed superfan, Eleanor was killed in her dressing room at the very... Man, this, I, mm, this is really good. Very theater where she was uh, always the sold-out headline. You wouldn't know it from looking at her during her time as a human, and especially now as a demon, but behind such a beautiful and innocent face hides a vengeful and malicious side rivaled by few. I am very interested in this. I'm not going to read any more on that. The artwork over here. Oh, please don't get me struck on YouTube. Please, Calvin, don't get me struck on YouTube. I see why you are definitely the thought bot Don, though, Ke Mr. Calvin Gulata. There's, uh, I, I can see, I can see why. That is absolutely fantastic. I love this. Underworld Don, he already has the cover artwork here. You couldn't find the page I was looking for because you're dumb. That's why, ladies and gentlemen, Underworld Dawn, this this actually looks like a really, really interesting story. I like when people take, as um, and there is a donate button here to help out Calvin Gulata, the Underworld Dawn, and make sure that there is a way to support these newer creators. But over here, uh, tired of giving money to woke propaganda and companies that destroy... Instead of create, good, fund me instead. Well, that's that's simple. I like that. Update, I'm looking into PayPal alternatives as I have deleted mine. Good for you, good sir. This man is all about the, alt, the, the parallel economy. Ladies and gentlemen, what we have here is a man who has taken some old mythos that has been told for literally for hundreds of years, being in Dante's Inferno, and decided to tweak the lore just a little bit and use that pre-existing lore for his world. This is something here that we can see works absolutely fantastically in storytelling. Now, I do hope that the writing does stand up and live up to these little synopses that we saw here, but as of right now, I'm pretty thrilled with the artwork that we saw. I'm also thrilled with the premise of the story, how there was an offshoot, kind of a, a side ring of hell that these, these sinners have created in order to essentially try to rule over the nine rings. Um, taking from Dante's Inferno immediately, immediately makes me just go, yep, I'm in, I'm in. What are we, what are we doing? How are we going to do it? Dante's Inferno is probably my favorite book of all time. I absolutely love the story of Dante's Inferno, a man's journey through hell itself in order to find his way through the strife and through the things that are plaguing him in life. There's so much in that if you've never read Dante's Inferno. And this here is a man who is actually taking from that, who is actually using and utilizing part of that story and in order to craft a world in order to have a jumping off point for his world this is something that i think could be absolutely very interesting so let me know down in the comments below what you guys think of what calvin gulata is doing and do you guys like dante's inferno first of all you gotta let me know if you like dante's inferno if you've never read dante's inferno you need to go buy it uh, buy the older translations. Don't buy the newer ones, please. Uh, try to find you an old one that has the English and the Italian in it. Um, and that way, if, um, because those ones tend to be more accurate in their translations. But are you fans of Dante's Inferno? Is a comic book like this or a story like this, Underworld Dawn, does this wet your whistle? Does this make you think, hmm? And obviously, I now understand by why it's intended for mature audiences. Because a story like this with the sinners and the debauchery that I, I'm assuming is going to 
take place is something that may not necessarily be fitting for the children. Now, that doesn't mean there's going to be any graphic scenes in it, but it's definitely something that I'm interested in picking up because, again, his jumping off point was Dante's Inferno and the Nine Rings of Hell. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for checking out A Drink With Crazy, and I am so happy to see all of you here. Never forget, comment down below and let me know what you think about what I'm doing here on the channel. Every single Sunday, I dedicate a special live stream to going and reading all of the comments on my previous week's videos. So if you comment down below on this video, you will be able to join me on the Sunday Coffee live stream at 11 a.m. Central, where I go through and I read all of the comments on my channel because I feel that if you guys are gonna dedicate time to me and watching these videos and commenting, the right thing for me to do is to dedicate time to you, and I do that in a live stream. We have some fun in the chat. I bounce back and forth between past comments and current chat. It's a good time, and I hope to see you there. Also, I would love to shout out Iron Age Nights, which is my Friday night show with my fantastic co-hosts Richard from IronAge.media and Mr. Daniel P. Riley from Whimsyland.org. They and... They and I, I and they, we, we have come up with a show where we, instead of talking about the woke Hollywood BS, we decide to shout out the modern creators, the creators that are coming up with good classic storytelling and making sure that the political agenda is left aside. Our goal is to let people know that things are there and people are there building stories, creating stories, and developing stories that are definitely getting away from all of the political propaganda that we've seen from the major corporate media in the last five years. So ladies and gentlemen, if that sounds like something you're interested in, I look forward to seeing you on Friday nights at 8 p.m. Central and Sunday mornings at 11 a.m. Central. And without any further ado, I will see you all next time. Cheers, everybody. Thank you all for being here on A Drink With Crazy. If you guys never want to miss a notification for the channel, go down in the link in the description and click that button to follow me and support me over on Locals. It's free to join, but that's where you can support me with money if you so choose. Also, don't forget to click those Rumble and Odyssey links so that way we can get over there and keep that growing. And until next time, cheers, everybody.